First of all, let me give a shout, shout out to the LSU Tigers. We won for the seventh time the College World Series. So we're very excited about that. Today's card is from the Cheerful Daisy set. It also has uh, in, um, dies to go with it. I've got some of them here, and then I've got the large one that we're going to be using today. I'm also going to be using Sweet Songbirds. The nest here is how I made my little container for my flowers. So that's there. So I'm going to show you how to put in some extra things, a different stamp set with what you're working on. Next, the colors we used, pecan pie, boho blue, I think this is my very favorite, uh, and, the, and they also did a pole and this one won out over the other end colors as the favorite. Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green. Okay. Now, this stamp set always it comes in a suite and it has the most awesome papers and they're the DSP that is offered with this. This sheet, you can see I cut one out to use, and then you could just cut these, add a sentiment, and you got your card. How easy is that? On the back are the, the um, that one is Mo our Mo Moody Mauve. Look how gorgeous that's looks like a garden of daisies, doesn't it? And on the back of that one is our pebbled path. That's the one that looks kind of gray. Another one that looks like a garden. And this has some, let me see what the colors are here. Where'd they go? Well, I had them a minute ago. Nope. Um, so this has some, I think it's garden green, garden, I'm sorry, granny apple green and the blue. See how you can make daisies in all different colors. And there's our wild wheat. And the boho blue. Okay. Let me get this cleared away and show you a really fun tip today. First thing I'm going to do is show you the cardstock we're using. This is our uh, basic white cardstock that I'm going to fold so that it makes a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So that's your card base. The four by five and a half are where your daisies are going to come from. Put that there. In fact, I ended up cutting this in half so that you could um, see how I did the, the daisies. And our DSP is the boho blue. And I cut that out of one of the sheets that has white daisies at the bottom. Okay, now, I am going to move this so I can see. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put the boho blue on our white. Set that aside for a 
that. Next, we have our base for the flowers. And this is cut at three and a half by four and a half. And it makes the perfect thing. Now, I don't know if you noticed or not, I had an oops there. And that was because I left one of my ink pads open. And so do as I say, not as I do. So anyway, I was trying to cover that up, but that's going to go in the sample pile. And um, then, let's see. Okay, here is oops, our little basket that's going to hold our flowers. So I want to show you how to do that first. This is from the Sweet Songbirds. And... This is the nest piece, and I'm going to turn it over and put my stamp on top. And I am using pecan pie, one of the new colors. It's not an end color, it's a core color. And the coordinating ink, the pecan pie ink. And I'm going to set that right there. Okay. So it comes out darker on the paper, but it's, it is the same color. Now, the way I got this shape was to use the closest punch I had, circle punch. Um, an oval might work if you have one that's that wide or if you have a die. So I'm going to put this in here and show you what I did with it. I'm using a little piece of um, a sticky note. That's what you do when you have small pieces of paper. And I'm going to turn this light on. It's kind of overcast today. Okay. So, I'm going to get that as close as possible. So, you see how I did that? And now I'm going to punch it. Okay, then I'm going to cut it twice. The first thing I'm going to do when I can get this off, there you go, is to, here are my paper snips. I'm going to cut right along here. Otherwise, you can't get your flowers in. Okay. And then the other thing that I'm going to do that I did not do there, I'm going to cut just a little off the bottom so that it, it looks like, of course, I didn't cut that even. Let's see if I can do better. Okay. So that now it looks like it's flat. And that's going to go on... That's going to go on our, um, the white that's going to go on top of the DSP. Now, I'm not going to put this down yet. And the reason this set is so cute, not only does it have all the daisies, the leaf, the stem, it's, it's photopolymer, so it's real easy to fit, to work with. And to fit together. It's also two-step stamping, and you can do it either way. You can, let me show you how to do that. Let's see. Oh, I'm using everything. Okay, I'll show you after we do that if I remember. Anyway, you can either stamp the solid flower and then put the outline over it, or you can do it vice versa. There's no rules to that, but um, it does come with a nice outline and then you have the, uh, the solid filled in. So, what I wanted to do was, oh, that's what I didn't show you. It has some cute sentiments. You made my day. This is the one we're gonna use today. Oops-a-daisy, so sorry. 
Wishing you the brightest birthday. Your friendship means everything. So the oopsie daisy. I'm going to stamp in black. So that I know where to place my flowers. Sometimes I do the, um, and I'm using our memento, memento ink. And I'm just going to stamp it up here in the corner. That came out nicely. I'm through with this ink. And remember, these that are not stamping up this design, you need to store upside down. Next, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my leaves and stem. And what I'm, the effect I was trying to get here was that the um, this daisy fell out. Oops, a daisy. And we're going to do this in our granny apple green. Now I'm just going to kind of place that so that I know about where I'm going to want it. Did you know you can do this with our photopolymers? Okay. Now I'm going to do this close to the bottom. See how well that stamps? Some of our little skinny ones like this are hard to do. You have to be really careful. But because this is photopolymer, I just think it's much easier. Okay, now. I'm going to put this back down because I don't want my other stems to be crooked like this one. And I'm just going to stamp. So that's going to go somewhere around there. And I want my flowers to kind of go towards the um, upper right. You can see how I did it there. But still fill up the white space. So I'm going to I cleaned this and what I want to do is I do not want the full stem length because it may show wherever so I am going to do I'm going to press that and see how I didn't get ink on the bottom of the stem. I don't know if you can see that very well. And I'm just going to move this and I'm going to stamp here. Oop. making some of them higher. And some of them a little lower. And I got a little booby right there, so we'll just make sure the basket goes over it. You know, you can almost always, and look, I got some up there, but that's going to be colored and covered by the flowers. Now the next thing, oops, next thing I want to do is just put a couple of, of leaves. So one's going to go here. Isn't that easy to place? And here. That one didn't get quite close enough, so I'll add another one. And I'm going to put one over here. Okay, now we have a trick coming up with, you know what, I'm not happy with that. I'm going to turn it over and do it again. All right. I am going to 
do the stems. Is coming off on the. I did it again. Okay. And I'm going to stick one so that it's a little higher. Then I'm going to do the one at the bottom that I curved. Okay. Next, we'll know where the little basket's going to go. And I still need one over here. Kind of looks lopsided. And I'm going to even put another one. Okay. Some of these are going to be covered and you won't really see that. Oops. I it again. Let's add a couple leaves. I love these leaves too. Okay. Looking good. And if you do make any little mistakes like I did, it's going to be covered by the flowers. So don't get in a flutter about that. I do need to stamp my oopsie daisy, which will be, and you want to make sure that it is totally covered. And I hope I didn't get my hair in the way. Okay, next, <clears throat> I've already done some flowers and I'm going to show you how I did this because it's a really neat trick that I came up with on my own, so I'm really proud of that. And then you just cut apart the ones you want to use, or you can use them in the bundle there. So we've so far we've got these here and I'm going to do another yellow. Now, let me show you how I went about doing this. I'm going to clean some of this up. There's another blue. If you can, try to keep your workspace cleared. It helps in finding things. Okay, now I'm going to take the piece of paper here, and as soon as I find my die, things are running away on me today. Okay, I used the flower upside on the upside down die. Okay, let me see if that makes sense to you. If I did them here, it's hard unless you have the side. Um, let's see. When you put it on the block, the side that you want to stamp with is going to be against the block instead of against the ink. So that's the reason I didn't use this side. I came over here and I matched the three flowers with the die. Now the little tip is to get mash them and get them as close as you possibly can to the joining stamps. Now this one has moved slightly so you just move it around until you find where it fits like a puzzle and the big daisy is kind of in the way, but we're going to do that, okay? And you want to keep them all as close as you can. They keep moving a little bit. All right, stay still. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my fingers off. Okay, when you've got them placed like you want, you're going to take one of our large blocks, and this is the E block. You put it right there. And, and the thing is, you don't want to pull the flowers out of place. So be real careful when you're pulling your, oops, when you're pulling your die from the flowers. This could be because my stamps need to be rinsed off with Dawn and water. Be sure to put, you can kind of fit that back in. Be sure to put a stopper in your sink and let's see if this is going to cooperate. Okay. Now, let me see if I can make this do. Okay. I hope that's in the same spot. Now, the next thing, okay, this is all your rough part. So you're going to take, I'm going to do this one in Daffodil Delight, and I'm turning the stamp pad upside down to get a good, clear image. I'm also going to use, this is not absolutely necessary, but sometimes with these larger stamps, it's hard to get a good imprint. And it helps to have a little bit of cushion there. So let's see how we did with this one. And I'm just mash it down real good all around. Okay. Now, keep your fingers crossed. And let's see if they match up. Look at there. Okay, this is how you cut your flowers all at the same time. But believe me, it took me some thinking and practicing and playing before I was able to come up with this. But I thought of this technique all by myself and I'm very proud. Now, what you want to do is be sure that you have some tape to put down so that they stay right. Oops. And I moved them right where you want them to be. Put that there. Put another piece up here. Now I'm going to run through the mini cut and emboss machine. Okay. So we're making our 